Growing up in the 90s, there was one person that everyone seemed to enjoy. He hit everyone's funny bone, and even to this day, he makes some decent movies. If you don't know who I'm talking about, it is Adam Sandler. Now, over the years, I've noticed that there are some people who seem to shit on Adam Sandler. I, I don't quite understand it, right? I mean, he has this quirky, silly sense of humor, but if you look at Adam Sandler movies as a whole, a lot of them are kind of stoner flicks, and I think that was kind of overlooked in the 90s. If you go back and watch them now, they're all pretty goddamn good. There are some shitters, don't get me wrong. But that's what we're here to do today. We're going to rank all of Adam Sandler's movies um, from S to F. I have rewatched most of these in the past two or three months uh, just because I went on an Adam Sandler kick. And uh, I, I want to rate them. I want to get everyone's opinion. I want to see if people agree or disagree with me. Um, I'm a big fan of almost every film he's done except for maybe six or seven and there's a few that i haven't seen so let's hop into it we're starting off with a fantastic one and that is i now pronounce you chuck and larry i think that that is close to s tier if you watch it now it's great great story hilarious uh, i think it breaks down some boundaries that needed to be broken down during that time it's hilarious all the way through it's got some emotional bits adam sandler is 10 out of 10 in it, and so is uh, his homie whose name escapes me right now. Funny movie still to this day. Okay, Don't Mess With the Zohan. Probably one of the weirdest movies I have ever seen in my life. I don't know. The first time I watched it, I was so put off by it. I didn't understand it. I didn't get what the hell was going on. And then I watched it a couple more times. And it is pretty fucking funny. Now, it's definitely not Adam Sandler at his best, but he's pretty damn good in it. And I think that's why I enjoy it so much is because of just how, like, off the wall this movie is from, like, start to finish. Like, within the first 10 minutes, he puts, like, a piranha in his pants to show how tough he is and catches a fish in his ass cheeks. Like, dude. And I'm just saying, if, you're, if, you, uh, if you partake in the devil's lettuce, the movie is even better. I'm going to go ahead and put Zohan at a B, and I feel like I'm going to get some flack for that one. All right, Happy Gilmore. I think Happy Gilmore is prime, prime, prime Adam Sandler. That movie is start to end hilarious. Great story. <laughs> great characters. Shooter McGavin is one of the best antagonists in a comedy movie. It's just, oh my God, the movie is so quotable still to this day. If you grew up in the 90s, man, let me tell you, if you didn't watch Happy Gilmore, I feel bad for you because it's it's so good. I mean, people still even try to mimic. The movie was so impactful, people still try to mimic his golf swing till this day just for fun. Happy Gilmore is a ugh, fantastic comedy. Uh, that's my boy. That was with Adam Sandler and Andy Samberg. I don't know. I think it's decent. It's not my favorite, but it's pretty solid. Um I don't know. I have mixed feelings about Andy Samberg. I think some of the stuff he did with like Lonely Island and you know some of his earlier films are good, but I don't know what he's doing nowadays. I think he's on a TV show. I don't know. Okay, uh, we're gonna wait on this one for a little bit. We'll 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 throw that one in there somewhere. Big Daddy, another peak peak Adam Sandler movie. It's phenomenal all the way through. It hits you in the fills in some parts. It's just, it, it shows how much one person can impact you, even if it is just a kid. Um, it's a movie that'll make you laugh, it'll, it can make you cry. You know, it's just, there's so many good scenes in it. It's good. It's a good, happy movie for the most of the part, most of the movie. And then there's some fucking like goddamn sad parts, but you see Adam Sandler's character maturing as an adult because he has to take care of this kid and, it's, you know, fucking McDonald's breakfast closes too early sometimes, you know. Uh, Grown Ups 2. I think Grown Ups 2 isn't great. Um, I, I like the first Grown Ups, but Grown Ups 2 definitely is getting closer to that shitter list. Um, I think if I put That's My Boy there, I have to put Grown Ups 2 there. 
I mean, the start, the cast is fantastic, right? It's hard to beat all those guys together, but I think Grown Ups 2 is not that great. Um, I'm actually not, I don't think I've ever seen Airheads. Uh, the Wedding Singer, another peak, peak Adam Sandler. I mean, he's at his best in that. It's one of his first, like, breakout movies. It's hilarious all the way through. Uh, Punch Drunk Love. And this is the thing about Adam Sandler that I don't think he gets enough credit for. He's done some serious roles, and I actually really like him as an actor when he is more serious. I think that it, he he has the acting chops, but he just that's not really what he's known for. But Punch Drunk Love, pretty solid movie. I'd give it a B. Billy Madison. I think Billy Madison is probably the greatest Adam Sandler movie of all time. Uh, it's just all the way through great. Got great cast great story great idea it's it's hard not to love that movie um i've never seen this one never seen blended eight crazy nights absolutely a animated uh if you guys didn't or haven't seen any of an Ad Ad oh she says adam sandler's stuff when he was on saturday night live um he used to do some like songs because he's jewish and he would sing like songs on saturday night live and then he made Eight Crazy Nights. So it, it's all kind of tied in. And yeah, Eight Crazy Nights is a 10 out of 10 Christmas movie, man. If you haven't seen it, spend the time. It's worth it. 50 First Dates, another absolutely fantastic one. Uh, basically, Adam Sandler starts falling in love with this girl who has, uh, what is it called? Is it amnesia? Where she, she forgets every day. So she had like head trauma and every day she has to start over like it's this... It's like the same days over and over and he tries to date her and every day he tries to get her to fall in love with them and then eventually they do and like they have kids and it the final scenes are like really heartwarming and cute but it's a great movie spanglish spanglish is pretty dang solid um i definitely don't think it's his best more serious one but it's definitely up there that was kind of one of the first ones where people realized that Hey, maybe he isn't just the goofy, funny guy. Longest Yard, phenomenal. All the way through. Remake of an old 80s movie. They even got what's-his-butt to be in it from the original. Uh, guards versus inmates, football match. You know, you got Joey Diaz in Longest Yard. If you guys haven't rewatched it and you're a Joey Diaz fan, he's in that movie. Chris Rock, uh, a couple actual football players. Nelly, the rapper. Like, it, phenomenal movie. Funny People, you know, I'm not a big fan of it. It's more of a serious kind of slash funny one, but I didn't think it was that good. I don't know what this is. Anger Management with Jack Nicholson. Phenomenal. Oh, my God. They both have anger problems, and Jack Nicholson's one of my favorite actors of all time. And it, oh, it's funny all the way through. Okay, let's just cover it. Jack and Jill might be one of the worst movies ever created on this planet. Uh, and it seemed like after Jack and Jill came out, that's when like everyone all of a sudden started hating Adam Sandler. Listen, man, it, sometimes you make a shitter and it happens. And this is his shitter. I don't know. Maybe it's funny if you're super baked. I have never watched it super baked. I don't plan on rewatching it ever in my life. It's just a bad movie. Uh, Bulletproof, I watched as a kid, younger. I haven't watched it in a long time because I can't find it anywhere to watch. I remember it being okay. It was decent. Click, I really like Click. Um, basically, he goes to like a Beyond store, and the Beyond section has this remote. I think it has uh, Christopher Walken in it, and he's like this weird, like, you know, dude. And this remote can, like, pause, rewind, fast-forward time. And, uh, yeah, comedy ensues after that. But there's also, like, some sad shit in that movie. Like, there's, like, a couple sad scenes where he gets, like, fucked up with health issues. And, yeah, it's fucked up. It, it's actually really, really, really sad. But Click's a fantastic movie. Waterboy, peak Adam Sandler again, right? Like, that movie's still quotable today. You know, why, why the alligator's so mad? Because like, they got all them teeth and no toothbrush. Like, it, it, Water Boy is just a classic at this point. I think all of these right here are, like, classic, classic movies. 
Hotel Transylvania. I have only seen the first one, and Hotel Transylvania is a fantastic animated movie. Um, I've never seen this, Hube Halloween. Uh, just go with it. Pretty solid. Not my favorite, but one of the good ones. All right, Little Nicky. I have a lot to say about Little Nicky, and I don't have enough time to say it. Okay. A lot of Adam Sandler fans look back and think Little Nicky is a top tier movie. I I recently watched it, and unlike Zohan, I feel like this movie gets worse and worse the more that I've seen it. I don't know why. It's just so... I don't know. I, I remember watching it with one of my buddies, and we sat there like, man, I, we both loved little Nikki growing up, and when neither of us have seen it in like 10 years, and we watched it, and I don't think either of us laughed once, like through the whole movie. I think the only part that I laughed at is when the dude gets boobs on his head, and I'm like, because <laughs> I'm a fucking immature idiot. The rest of it just sucked. I don't know. Maybe I need to rewatch it again, but I think that... I think that's his worst, in my head, mind, I think that's one of his worst movies when we consider, like, prime form Adam Sandler. Okay, Uncut Gems. I, we can argue about this. I think Uncut Gems was absolutely fantastic. And I'll tell you why. I have never watched a movie in my life that had me so stressed and riddled with anxiety like it did so good at making that movie stressful my back was tense i'm like jesus christ like what the hell is going on and his character just flourished and loved the chaos like i don't think he gave a shit he didn't give a shit whether he won or didn't he just wanted to live that chaos he wanted to get that one big win I love the movie. I, I, I've watched it a couple times now, and I think it is absolutely fantastic. And I'm not going to spoil the ending if you guys haven't seen it, but it is uh, unpredictable, to say the least. Uh, Men, Women, and Children I Haven't Seen. Okay, Mr. Deeds, another classic. Prime, prime. <laughs> Adam Sandler, he falls under all these ones. Uncut Gems probably won't be up here for most people. I think all of these will be up here for most people. Mr. Deeds is just another one that's so good. And it's one of those ones where it's like, it's the fantasy that so many people have, right? Like, oh, you get a call that some long lost cousin or relative was super wealthy and he gives you all the money and, you know, he does a, he tries to be a good guy, but ends up getting screwed over. But it's really good. 10 out of 10. Murder mystery. You know what? I think murder mystery didn't get talked about enough absolutely fantastic i had a lot of fun watching it it wasn't like a slapstick comedy type shit it was just a straight up like murder mystery it was it was good i enjoyed it uh the first grown-ups absolutely a eh? super fun super great when the cast came out for that everyone was like holy shit like this is this is huge and it was it's fantastic ridiculous six um i think ridiculous six is one of those ones where <laughs> the humor is there and it's really in your face and it's silly. And if you're tired or, you know, under the influence, it's going to make you laugh. I've never seen Going Overboard. I don't know what this is. Haven't seen the other Hotel Transylvanias. Oh, we only got two more that I'm going to rate because I haven't seen that. Haven't seen Gobbler or The Do-Over. Okay, so Bedtime Stories, I think, is one, is like the most forgettable Adam Sandler movie, but I didn't hate it. It's kind of cute. He tells bedtime stories to his kid, and they get more and more crazy as time goes on. Uh, it's not bad, but it's not my favorite. And then Pixels. I think Pixels falls under that category of just an absolute dog shit movie. As a gamer, I don't quite know what they were doing, and this really missed the ball on that one. But yeah, I think this is... I'm sure most people are going to agree with my S and A's. Um, I'm sure Zohan's going to get way lower. I, I bet Transylvania will be re way higher. And I don't know what people are going to think about Uncut Gems. But yeah, this is my list. Um, I guess if I were to put these in order of my favorite, um, it's probably going to be Billy Madison, Happy Gilmore, 
Big Daddy Deeds Water Boy Uncut Gems Wedding Singer. And then um Grown Ups Yeah, I'd probably do this. And then I'm not going to worry about these. This would be in order of my favorite. So yeah, let me know what you guys think. Let's look at the community rank really quick. Oh, wow. Okay. Weird. Not what I was expecting at all. Interesting. So Click is number one. Happy Gilmore, 50 First Dates, Billy Madison, Waterboy, Big Daddy, Uncut Gems is higher than I was expecting. Zohan is way higher than I was expecting. Maybe I didn't have, maybe I'm not the only one with that opinion. Hotel Transylvania, Deeds, Pixels is higher than I thought it would be. Grown Ups too, just go with it. So where's their shitters? I'm surprised Jack and Jill is not in the D. That's weird. Um, maybe there's just ones people haven't seen. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. Um, I'm probably going to do more of these. I'm probably going to do Jim Carrey and some of the other big comedians. And maybe I'll do more actors and whatnot going forward because just an idea I had. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great rest of your day. And like always, I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.